Did you know that Quebec City, the capital of the province of Quebec, is over 400 years old? This makes it one of the oldest cities in North America. Our journey begins in the early 17th century, when French explorer Samuel de Champlain sailed across the Atlantic in the year 1608. He landed on the shores of what is now known as Quebec City, marking the dawn of a new era. Champlain saw the potential in this new land, and so he established a settlement, a habitation as he called it, right at the heart of the new world. This new settlement, located on the high cliffs along the St. Lawrence River, offered a strategic advantage. It was a perfect spot for surveillance and defense, making it a coveted piece of real estate for the French. But it wasn't just about military strategy. The river also served as a highway of sorts, a pathway that led deep into the continent. This made Quebec a pivotal point in the lucrative fur trade, a trade that was the lifeblood of the early colonial economy. Imagine, if you will, the hustle and bustle of those early days. The riverbanks teeming with birch bark canoes, the air filled with the chatter of traders, the scent of fresh pelts in the air. Quebec was more than just a settlement. It was a hub of commerce and a gateway to the vast, unknown lands of North America. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. These early years were fraught with challenges, harsh winters, conflicts with indigenous peoples, and the constant threat of English invasion. Yet despite these hurdles, Quebec persevered. It grew, it evolved, and it flourished. Fast forward to today, and you can still see the echoes of this vibrant past in the city's cobblestone streets, its towering fortifications, and its historic architecture. The early history of Quebec is not just a tale of survival and determination. It's a story that has molded the city's unique identity. Quebec's early history laid the foundation for its unique blend of cultures that we witness today. The city's roots reach deep into the past, shaping its present, and undoubtedly will continue to influence its future. Quebec witnessed some of the most significant battles in North American history, which influenced its destiny. As we delve into the annals of history, we find that the French and Indian War was one of the first major conflicts that left an indelible mark on Quebec. The war, fought between 1754 and 1763, was a tumultuous struggle between the French and British forces, with the indigenous tribes caught in the crossfire. This war wasn't merely a clash of empires, but a battle for the soul of the continent. The outcome of this conflict would determine the linguistic, cultural, and political future of North America. The Battle of the Plains of Abraham, which took place on September 13, 1759, was a pivotal moment in this war. British forces, led by General James Wolfe, faced off against French troops commanded by the Marquis de Montcalm. This battle was a decisive encounter that lasted less than an hour, but its outcome forever changed the course of Quebec's history. The British victory at the Plains of Abraham led to the fall of Quebec City and ultimately the surrender of New France to the British crown. This marked the end of French rule in North America and the beginning of a new chapter in Quebec's history under British control. But the story doesn't end there. The echoes of these battles reverberate through the centuries, influencing the development of Quebec. The province's unique blend of French and British influences is a testament to this tumultuous past. From the cobblestone streets of old Quebec, lined with French colonial architecture, to the Anglican cathedrals and Victorian houses of Montreal, the history of these battles is etched into the very fabric of Quebec. Even today, the legacy of these conflicts can be seen in the cultural and linguistic diversity of Quebec. The province's unique blend of French and English is a testament to its past, a past shaped by the crucible of war and conflict. The echoes of these battles still resonate in Quebec's vibrant culture and architecture. Despite becoming a British colony, Quebec retained its French character, a testament to the resilience of its people. The British took control of Quebec after the Treaty of Paris in 1763, but rather than stamping out the French influence, they found themselves in a dance of cultural exchange and negotiation. One pivotal moment in this dance was the Quebec Act of 1774. This was an extraordinary piece of legislation, as it allowed Quebec to maintain its French language, law, and culture. Picture this, a British colony where French civil law was practiced, where French was spoken in the courts, 
and where the Catholic Church, a pillar of French Canadian society, was allowed to collect tithes. It's a testament to the resilience and determination of the Quebecois that they not only survived under British rule, but also managed to preserve and strengthen their unique culture. Of course, this period wasn't without its conflicts. In the late 1830s, tensions between the French-speaking majority and the English-speaking minority led to a series of rebellions. These uprisings, while ultimately unsuccessful, did bring attention to the unique challenges faced by Quebec. They led to the Act of Union in 1840, which merged Upper and Lower Canada into a single province. This act was meant to assimilate the French-speaking population and suppress the French language and culture. But as history has shown us, this was far from successful. Despite everything, Quebec's French character remained strong. The people clung to their language, their customs, and their way of life, creating a province that's a fascinating blend of old world charm and new world dynamism. Today, Quebec is a vibrant testament to the enduring spirit of its people, that a place where you can walk down cobblestone streets, hear French spoken around you, and feel the pulse of a culture that survived against all odds. The British rule, far from eradicating the French influence, only strengthened Quebec's unique identity. In the end, Quebec's history is a story of resilience, of a culture that refused to be silenced, and of a people who, to this day, are fiercely proud of their heritage. The 1960s brought about a period of intense socio-political and socio-cultural change in Quebec, aptly named the Quiet Revolution. This was a time of enormous transformation, a shift from a society deeply rooted in religious tradition to one that embraced secularization, a change that was as swift as it was profound. In the grip of the Quiet Revolution, the province's education and health systems previously controlled by the Catholic Church, were secularized and became the responsibility of the state. This was a critical shift that led to the creation of a welfare state and a significant increase in state intervention in the economy. But the Quiet Revolution was not just about secularization and the welfare state. It was also about the rise of Quebec nationalism. The French-speaking majority began to assert their rights and culture more forcefully. They demanded equal status with the English-speaking minority, not just in Quebec but across Canada. This was a time when the Quebecois began to reclaim their identity, their language, and their culture. The Quiet Revolution also marked the birth of modern Quebec nationalism. The movement was a response to the perceived threat to French-Canadian culture and language, and it sought to protect and promote the unique identity of Quebec. This was a time of change, of assertion of renaissance. Quebec's transformation during the Quiet Revolution was remarkable. It was a time when Quebec shed its old skin and emerged as a modern, progressive society. The changes were so profound and so deeply felt that they continue to resonate in every corner of Quebec today. Indeed, the influence of the Quiet Revolution cannot be overstated. It was a time of change and growth that helped shape Quebec into the vibrant and dynamic province it is today. The Quiet Revolution was not just a period in history. It was a transformative era that left a lasting imprint on the province. The Quiet Revolution left an indelible mark on Quebec, shaping its modern identity. Today, Quebec stands as a testament to its rich history, a unique blend of the old and the new. A province that has seen the tide of time ebb and flow, Quebec has evolved into a modern society that still cherishes its past. Its economy, a robust combination of the manufacturing industry, natural resources, and a burgeoning tech sector, has created a thriving environment. Quebec is also a major player in the Canadian energy sector, harnessing the power of its vast hydroelectric resources to light up homes and fuel industries. The culture of Quebec is a vibrant tapestry woven with threads from its French ancestry, British influences, and indigenous heritage. The result is a delightful mix of historic traditions and modern trends. From the lively music festivals of Montreal to the quiet contemplative art galleries of Quebec City, there's a cultural experience for everyone. Speaking of Montreal, this city is a bustling metropolis with a heart that beats to the rhythm of art, food, and sport. A city where historic stone buildings stand shoulder to shoulder with sleek glass towers, Montreal is a symbol of Quebec's harmonious blend of the past and the present. But Quebec is not just about its cities. 
The province also boasts of stunning natural beauty, best exemplified by places like Mont Tremblant. With its breathtaking landscapes and outdoor activities, Mont Tremblant is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure enthusiasts. Quebec's commitment to maintaining its heritage can be seen in the painstaking preservation of its historic sites and buildings. The province is home to a number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the historic district of Old Quebec, a living museum of narrow cobblestone streets, 17th and 18th century houses, and towering fortifications. Quebec, with its rich past and vibrant present, continues to charm visitors and locals alike. Whether it's the allure of its cities, the serenity of its natural landscapes, or the enchanting tapestry of its culture, Quebec stands as a testament to the fact that the past and the present can coexist in a beautiful symphony. So what makes Quebec so special? It's a combination of its history, culture, and people. As we've journeyed through the ages, we've seen how Quebec was born, shaped by battlefields, influenced by British rule, revolutionized quietly, and how it's evolved into the vibrant province it is today. Each chapter of its story adds a unique charm to this Canadian gem. Quebec's history is not just in textbooks, it's etched into its cobblestone streets, echoed in its cathedral bells, and reflected in the St. Lawrence River. The old world charm of Quebec City, the province's heart, is a testament to its rich history. From the iconic Chateau Frontenac to the historic Plains of Abraham, every corner whispers tales from the past, adding a timeless allure that captivates the hearts of visitors. Yet Quebec isn't just about its past, it's a fascinating blend of old and new. The province's largest city, Montreal, is a testament to this. With its cutting-edge art scene, world-class dining, and thriving nightlife, it exudes a modern sophistication that contrasts beautifully with its historic roots. But the charm of Quebec isn't just in its buildings or landscapes, it's in its people. The Quebecers, with their joy de vivre, warmth, and welcoming nature, add an undeniable allure to the province. Whether it's their passion for winter carnivals, their love for poutine, or their commitment to preserving their unique culture, the people of Quebec have a zest for life that's truly infectious. And then there's the culture. Quebec is a place where French and English blend seamlessly, creating a unique cultural mosaic. The province's distinct culture with its French-Canadian roots is evident in every aspect of life here, from its language and cuisine to its music and festivals. In essence, Quebec's charm lies in its ability to balance its rich history with modernity, to embrace its cultural diversity, and to nurture a vibrant community that's as warm as it is diverse. Quebec, a place where history lives, culture thrives, and charm never fades. There's much more to Quebec than can be covered in a short video. The best way to experience it? Visit Quebec. Imagine strolling through the cobblestone streets of old Quebec, a UNESCO World Heritage treasure, or savoring a plate of poutine, a local delicacy. Picture yourself exploring the historic Plains of Abraham, where the fate of North America was decided over 200 years ago. Envision the thrill of attending a world-class performance at the Montreal Jazz Festival, or the serenity of a canoe trip on the majestic St. Lawrence River. From the rich tapestry of history to the vibrant contemporary culture, Quebec offers a wide range of experiences that cater to every interest. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an outdoor enthusiast, or a culture vulture, Quebec has something for you. Quebec awaits you, ready to share its history, culture, and charm. See you in Quebec.